the templates are um they, they might work for some people maybe people who are very fluent in the language uh they can like switch between something memorized and something like spontaneous speech but i think for most people the templates will hurt them not uh, benefit them uh, especially hmm. with the with the results they they're getting you need to follow the coach's advice um if uh, if if you find that uh, your coach is not uh, giving you the results that you deserve you need to think uh, like consider your options one big issue of, of TOEFL like especially for us as um, second language learner uh, we think it's all about English but that's not the case uh, I remember I watched uh, a video for of a native speaker Vishal on your channel and uh, he didn't pass the first time so it's not just english so if uh, someone who is a native speaker is struggling to pass the TOEFL that means that it's not uh, about just the english language uh, you need to take other uh, aspects in uh, into consideration uh, and you need to question your assumptions like uh, you assume it's about english so you keep trying to improve your grammar, pronunciation, and speed, or trying to focus uh, your energy and efforts in the wrong direction, and you keep getting the same score. So that's why. Yes. I read that you said that in your post in our Facebook group. You might think that you do not pass because you made grammatical mistakes, pronunciation errors, or even pause when you are answered. In fact, you can pass despite making minor mistakes in your speaking. However, you do not pass because you are using ineffective strategies in your speaking response. Michelle, is that the part in your post that you're talking about? Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, that's yeah, well, what I'm mentioning. And um, it's about uh, following a good blueprint. Like if you think of yourself as the builder and you have an architect who's uh, giving you a blueprint and you try it and, and you, you, you can like you find yourself like don't pass so there must be something wrong with the with the blueprint like mm. you, you need to not stop doubting yourself that you you've done something wrong but yeah and try to question your assumptions Okay. Uh, and I think, uh, yeah, there, there is a saying like insanity is to keep doing the same thing and expect <laughs> different results. Mm. So I think that's that goes, uh, applies in, in this situation. Yes. Okay. So with what you're talking about, you know, that's, you know, that's making me think about speaking templates. Yeah. I, before I go off on that, let me make sure, let me check in with you. Maybe you're talking about something else or that plus something else. I think the test takers listening would want to know which assumptions should they be open to questioning, Michelle? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the templates are, um, they, they might work for some people, maybe people who are very fluent in the language. Uh, they can like switch between something memorized and something like spontaneous speech but i think for most people the templates will hurt them not uh, benefit them uh, especially hmm. with, the, with the results they, they're getting because uh when i was taking test after test uh, i thought like uh, maybe this speaking template that didn't work for me so i'll try another template i didn't know that the problem is the template itself <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, so I kept trying and uh, yeah, none of them worked for me. What was it that got you to say, okay, it's speaking templates in general. I need to get rid, it's not just switch to a different template. I need to completely get rid of the templates and be speaking 100% naturally. Yeah. Um, I think uh, when, I, when I took classes with you and you um, told me about this, and um, I was a 
resistant at the beginning. And I even after I took classes with you, when I went to the exam, I found myself like speaking the templates like the, the just the uh, because this is the way that I used to do, to tackle the, the question in the exam. So it's also very hard to move away from it and uh, tr try to adopt a different strategy. Yes, it's a habit. Yes, this yeah. has happened with other people too. In your post in our Facebook group, you said that the first, the first TOEFL that you took after meetings with me, you got... 23 and i think that's what you were saying right now even though you had been taking meetings with me you were a little resistant and it sounds like you reverted back to the old habit of the templates and then the second exam is when you got 26 michelle in that second exam is that when you felt you were able to speak more closer to 100 percent naturally with less templates less speaking templates yeah that's right and and also one other point that I wanted to say that you need to move away from uh, the templates or how you are going to answer your uh, you, you, how how you are going to tackle that question uh, and move to what you want to say. So instead of moving from structure mm. and fo focusing on structure and try to focus more on the content that you wanna uh, tell the, the listener. Yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Is it okay if I dive deep into this part right now that you just said? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So this is this. For those of you test takers who are taking this seriously, who are internalizing this, who are taking notes on this, who believe that the advice of this video can help you to pass without ever needing to schedule meetings with me, Pay attention to what he just said and what we are about to say. He just said that when you remove the speaking templates, that structure that you test takers love so much, it will help you to get to the heart of your answer faster. Therefore, it will give you more time to develop your topic, topic development as the scoring rubrics say. Michelle, is that is that what you're yeah. talking about? Am I right so yeah, far? Uh Would you like to to add anything yeah, to that? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just uh, uh, when you fo focus on the structure, you just um, distract yourself on, on uh, what you need to say. And think of it like as, uh, as pieces of a puzzle that you need to put together. And you don't need to put it in, uh, in a special order. Just you need to solve the puzzle. But you, you need to have the pieces put together. Excellent. Excellent. So that this advice, this is for speaking 26. Um, for those of you who maybe you're not on that level, maybe you don't have the requirement for 26 on speaking. Maybe this is advice isn't for you, but we're talking about pharmacists, physical therapists, dentists, nurses, people who have the requirement for 26 on speaking. Get Getting rid of the speaking templates. I know you guys like the structure. In fact, let me turn the tables here. Michelle, I'm going to tell you the things that people usually tell me. Like you said at the beginning of our meetings, you were a little bit resistant towards getting rid of the speaking templates. I'm going to turn the tables now and I'm going to tell you what people usually tell me in their resistance to removing the speaking templates. And I'll see if you can give them advice. Uh, Michelle, I don't, I like the speaking templates. I like having the structure. I like having the memorized predictable thing to say it makes it easier for me why would you tell me to get rid of that i mean if it gives you results like yeah more than welcome to use it like if you get that you're 26 that's all right yeah but if if it doesn't work you need to just try something else what was helpful to you how can we help the people listening to this how can we help what did i do to help you and how can we help them to shift out of that loss of confidence place where they don't want to be and into the more, you know what, even though I haven't passed, I believe in myself. I'm going to put a stronger effort towards passing. What can we tell them? What helped you? How can we help them? Yeah, I think the main thing, as I told you before, that uh, meeting with uh, Vishal, that uh, changed my mindset, that uh, it's not about my English ability alone. Uh, there, there is something else to the TOEFL.
Mm. And that one was really helpful for me. I've heard you bring up twice the video with Vishal. So for those of you test takers that are benefiting, that are lucky as I am, that Michel agreed to do this and are benefiting from his good words, he's talking about uh, one of the native English speakers that I've helped pass and who also made a video with me. So this video is available for you also. The best and most organized place for you to find it is on my YouTube channel. I have showed the most amount of people passing, getting 26 on TOEFL speaking than anybody else has. And when I say show, I mean real people like you can see and hear, Michelle here, not just a post that may be real or not, but a person that you can see and hear. You can also go watch that video that Michelle is telling you he benefited from. So Michelle, help me with this. When you're saying that that's what helped you, I think you're saying something like this. You saw that if a native English speaker who has perfect or close to perfect pronunciation and grammar is not passing, then hey, maybe the reason maybe I shouldn't be assuming that grammar and pronunciation is not why I wasn't. Maybe it had to do more with the strategy and approach to the questions. Michelle, is that what you're talking about? Can you please add to what I just said? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. And um, especially for the the exam that I got 26 at, I didn't use two reasons or two examples or anything like that. I just followed your approach to that uh, question. Speaking templates are wrong because to get 26 on speak, and when you see somebody who did get 26 on speaking or above, and they tell you they use the speaking template, they did not get 26 on TOEFL IPT speaking because of the speaking template. No, they got 26 on TOEFL IBT speaking in spite of the limiting nature of the speaking template. They got 26 on TOEFL IBT speaking because their speaking fluency was so good, is so good, that it was able to overcome the limiting structure that is speaking templates. You helped me with my confidence. That uh, that was the most important thing, and because I I stopped uh, like you need to stop doubting yourself. Like uh, because I was wasting my time and energy and money, of course, and trying to fix the wrong things. So once I stopped and I I noticed that. Uh, I don't need to improve any of my grammar or pronunciation, and I need to focus on strategy. That's when I I improved and I uh, I felt more relaxed. The main thing is like yeah, the, I got the results I needed, and uh, I can keep moving forward from with the Excellent. with the pharmacy exams. If you want to see more videos with people giving you their best advice on how they got their twenty six on TOEFL IBT speaking. You can watch that YouTube playlist. It's connected to this video and you can find it by searching for TOEFL IBT Speaking 26. You can also find it by going through speaking26.com. These are people who before were not getting 26 on TOEFL speaking and after did get 26 and pass their tests. I asked them, hey, can you give your best advice to people who are still taking the test? How did you go from not passing to passing? When I read about the TOEFL exam, I didn't really think much of it. I just thought, okay, you know, straightforward thing. It's an English exam. Um, how difficult can it be? The pharmacy board needs specifically 26 in speaking. This helped me in passing my TOEFL exam. Erin helped me to pass and get 26. Erin, actually, any words will not be enough. Uh, but really, really, I'm very thankful. 26 in speaking, and I finally got it. And I finally, I finally, um, I am, I'm so excited to get to the next step in my pharmacist license. Look at my accent, look at people who got 26. So just surround yourself with people who motivate you. Look, I passed. That bit that's missing is probably the most important bit to get you to 26. Yes. And, and, and that's the bit where Ira and I felt helped me 
um, realize where I was going wrong. And and that that bit where I was going wrong, I think it it, it goes for everyone. Every, who, it doesn't matter whether you speak English uh, is your first language or not. That bit that was missing is something everyone really needs to understand in order to in order to get that twenty six. Once you uh, are in the level that you need to become advanced mm. in order to get the twenty six. Mm. You need to get rid of, of the templates. Templates. Template will hinder your, your ability to deliver that, that question because it's, it shows that you are reading something or you are not speaking, you are reading. I was using completely different template or different way. I started to apply your way. And once I started to practice your way, oh, it's easy for me. That was really good for me. It really helped me because with this in my mind, I could speak faster and I was, because I was confident. It's challenging, but you know, the, after you pass it, the feeling of victory, it's worth it. As English is my first language, I thought the speaking templates would be enough to get me the 26 that I needed. Unfortunately, it wasn't, and I only scored a 23. Your lack of getting 26? is not due to your speaking ability. It has been due to your less than optimal strategy. Get rid of the training wheels. The templates. The templates were like, oh my God. Why did they create <laughs> those templates? Aaron, you, you are a big helpful for, for students like us. We need, we need somebody to like, Stir revolution in our heart inside. Mm. Give life to our conversation. And this is, will never happen through other sites like they have exact traditional pattern. Pattern that template first, second, for example. Don't say, for example, the second time, for instance. Really? And like, robot, I put myself without life. I don't have the a freedom to speak. You don't have to worry that much about how can I mention two reasons with two details or two examples. It's too much for me. You help students to increase their fluency. Instead of following that speaking template or any other speaking template, trust your fluency. For the students who are taking with you, trust this guy. He's amazing. He will shift or improve your level as soon as possible. Like this. Jump, jump my score from 23 to 26, like, like this. How many hours I took with you? Five. Look at this. Five hours in two weeks. I passed my test. I hope you, uh, you keep inspiring and helping more pharmacists and more other students to achieve their goal and become a professional here in the United States. If I had um, just you know, found you earlier. For people who's really, they have concern and they need to do it very fast, go, go to the, like, the, the original, the source, the source of help. Go to Aaron, he's the guy, he was the guy for me, and hopefully he's the guy for you, and he'll set you straight. He'll tell you what you need to do to get that 26, 